What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles, the YouTube channel. This is the Hendersonville League Cup round. Uh, not round, it's, we're in top eight right now. Um, on the left, we have Evan uh, playing his Mega Mewtwo Garbota deck. We've actually seen him on stream already playing against Volcanion. And then right, we have Tommy. And uh, we haven't seen Tommy on stream just yet, but Tommy... He's playing a really, one of my favorite decks uh, that's out in standard outside of the uh, Decidueye Voplum. I mean, if you see the title, you know it's Mega Rayquaza, and I'm excited to see this match of Mega Mewtwo versus Mega Rayquaza, the battle of the Mega Pokemon. And here we go. There's the coin flip. It looks like it is Tails. I'm not sure who gets to go first. All right, so um, how does this matchup play out? Well, Evan, if you find, say, a Garboder, it's actually really bad for Mega Rayquaza because you shut down, like, Hoopas and Dragonites and... Uh, shamans and all that kind of good stuff that really requires and needs and Evan plays multiple parallel cities if I remember correctly which does hurt this Rayquaza deck because obviously you don't want to play against somebody who has parallel cities that just shuts you down completely all right but both players are going to see what's in their hand uh, Tommy does play puzzle of times which I do love in the mega Rayquaza deck especially this matchup because now you have more outs to play your Skyfields um, to knock out these mega Mewtwo's so it looks like a way to own uh, some of the game gets on the other side to get set up. Uh, the game you just watched last round, which was uh, Brian versus Vlad, which we saw Brian take it, or not Vlad taking the game 2 0 against uh, uh, Volcanion. So we're going to wait here and see. I mean, who do you want to win, guys? Do you want Mega Mewtwo or Mega Rayquaza? And here we go. Uh, we see Tommy starts with the Shaman, and Evan will start with the Trubbish. So, Tommy going to play a uh, train as well, not going to hit anything, Ultra Ball just turning a Metal Energy and a Mega Rayquaza, and that's actually the other Mega Rayquaza with the Max Heal, or I forget what it's called, but he heal all damage off your Rayquaza, so it looks like he is playing uh, just a little bit different tech card for sure, but we see a Rayquaza, Shaman, and then probably another Rayquaza, there's a Magearna, which I don't think Magearna helps you too too much in this matchup for sure. And going to get another Quaza, which I do like. Okay. And Tommy's going to throw some cards. Uh, reveal that he has Dragonite in deck, which isn't too big of a surprise. Like most Mega Quaza players do play Dragonite nowadays. nowadays. So let's see. Can Tommy find some Spear Link, a DCE? There's two Quazas and a Shaman setting up four new cards. He finds a Flowstone, a Switch, a Hoopa. But uh, no supporter card, no DCE. Um, we see a Hoopa going to use Scoundering Search for three new EX Pokemon. And does Tommy have a. <clears throat> does Tommy actually have a Skyfield? I didn't see one in hand right now. But what Tommy can do is just uh, just evolve since he does have the Delta, Delta Evolution Mega Rayquaza, which allows you to evolve on the first turn. And do we see Skyfield? There's a Pulse Time. Revenge top three cards off his deck. And that is not good. It's a. It's a Spear Link, Super Rod, and Spear Link. Okay. Um, that's not what you really want to see. A Hex Maniac. And we'll see a Mega Evolve on Evan's turn. Now let's see what Evan does here. He has a train as well. Look at the top cards of his deck. He does find an Ultra Ball. Okay. Ultra Ball discarding a Psychic and a DCE. And with this, he can grab a Mewtwo. Okay. Now he discarded a DCE, so his other cards in hand must be very, very useful if he opted to discard that DCE, because those are really valuable. Uh, we see a DCE be attached to the active, and a Sycamore discarding a Psychic, and a VS Seeker getting seven new cards. Alright. So Evan have, finds multiple Mega Turbos. There's a Hoopa, which he cannot use because he's hacked right now. There's a Flowstone going to the active. And... <clears throat> I mean, if we're Evan, we retreat this Trubbish. But either way, Evan... He's not in too much in danger of being knocked out. I mean, we know what Tommy's next card is a Spirit Link. Going to attach to that guy. He doesn't have a Skyfield. We know the next card is a Super Rod. And then another Spirit Link. So on Evan's turn, going to find a Shaman. And we're going to see Evan use the Hoopa. Search for three EX Pokemon. Which is going to get him a Mega Mewtwo. A Ho Mewtwo. And uh, maybe just those two. Or maybe another Mewtwo as well. That's not too bad. So two Mewtwos and then a Mega. Actually, he's not going to get the Mega because he doesn't have a Spirit Link just yet. Uh, if you had a Spirit Link, then he'd be good to go. Uh, so Mewtwo, Mewtwo, and looks like maybe a Shaman set up for two. But if he Sycamore's here, he loses two Mega Turbos. Uh, so we'll see Shaman set up for two. I think I'd rather just grab the Mega Mewtwo and just have Mega Ball this turn. Explosion is Tommy hasn't really done anything. Okay, so let's see. It looks like we are going to see Sycamore discarding two Mega Turbos, two VS Seekers, and a Shaman. 
And yeah, I think I would have rather described the Mega Mewtwo and just Mega Evolved. So, uh, going to get seven new cards. Okay. Um, so, he has a Spear Link to put on the Mega Mewtwo. Okay. He has a Psychic Energy. He can attach to the Mewtwo as well. We see an Ultra Ball, which can get him another Mega Mewtwo out. Right now, he's he's not taking a knockout. He's only doing three, six. Uh, if he attaches a Psychic Energy, nine, so 100 damage. I'm uh, going to see Super Ride show back in uh, Shaman, Psychic, and a Psychic. Okay. And what Evan really needs to find is a DCE plus Mega Mewtwo this turn, and that will allow him to knock out the Shaman. So we see Ultra Ball discarding a Trainer's Ball and a Shaman. Okay. Um, going to grab a Garboder. All right, so Garboder will come out and play, but Evan doesn't have a Mega Mewtwo, so he can't really attack this turn. But it does shut down like Shamans and other stuff like that. Um, we can see a Psychic Energy going to the Mewtwo. Retreat and Cyburn, I think what it is, for 30 damage. Okay. And, yeah, I think if you're Evan, you just Garboda, Retreat, and just Cyburn for 30, or Cyway, whatever it's called. Um, so let's see what Evan decides to do here. Uh, gonna get Garboda out, okay. And gonna pass him a Tommy's turn, but we know Tommy's turn is a Super Rod. On Evan's turn, he has a Psychic Energy. He can attach it to the Mewtwo. Uh, no, just gonna Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Alrighty, so not finding another Mega Mewtwo again. Alright, it's so a Spirit Link. Both players are not doing anything. Uh, we know Tommy's next card is gonna be another Spirit Link. Oh, man, it's just it's just a weird matchup right now. Evan is slowly getting energies on his field for his Mewtwo's, but he has to take a knockout right now. Uh, will Evan retreat this turn and attack? Nope. Gonna put a Flush on the Hoop Bug. And just retreat on the Tommy's turn. We know it's a Spirit Link. And then on Evan's turn, you see Evan, uh, Tommy Knight looking at his cards. He know what it, we knew what it was. And uh, Evan, I mean, he still just doesn't have anything. So Psychic Energy to Mewtwo. Uh, he does have a Paradise City. He can put Tommy down to three. And we'll see Hoopa. Uh, Hoopa being discarded. We see a Retreat to Mewtwo. And we'll see a Cy Cyburn for 60, whatever it's called. And here's Tommy's new card. What is it? And I think it was a, a Skyfield. But Tommy, he can't use Shaman anymore. There's, you know, Evan has Garboder in play. There's a switch into the Shaman. Okay. Uh, we'll see a pass on Evan's turn. All right. And Evan still doesn't have anything. He does have an Ultra Ball, so he can finally take a knock out of this turn. He can Ultra Ball discarding uh, two cards out of his hand, uh, discarding the Life Standard Shrine of Memories. Grab a Mega Mewtwo, put a DC on the active, and just take a knock out here, which is not a bad play. So Ultra Ball discarded those two. Finally, find a Mega Mewtwo. Put a DC in the active and Psychic Infinity for 3, 6, 9, 12, 130 damage to go down to 4 prize cards. So Evan has 0 cards in his hand. We'll take a knockout going down to 4 prize cards. Time to go approach the Shaman. There's a Trainer's Mill. Uh, still just not finding anything. Oh my goodness. This is so bad for Tommy. Um, I mean, at what point do you decide to scoop here? Like, you know, Evan has a, has a Garboder, so Tommy can't use his... Um, you know, he can't use Hoopas, he can't use Dragonites, he can't do anything good like that. So you gotta think Tommy's already in a terrible situation since his Garboder out. We see a Skyfall coming online, okay. We see a Super Rod shove back in the Shaman, Hoopa, and a Mega Rayquaza, okay. But, I mean, what? I mean, Tommy doesn't have a supporter card, so he can't do anything this turn. Uh, he's got a Shaman, but he can't set up because that Garboder is in play. And we'll see a pass on to Evan's turn. I mean, if you're Tommy here, you might just want to see the game. And here we go. Evan has a Psychic Energy of Bench Mewtwo. He has it in, but there's no way he's going to play that. He's going to go to two prize cards. Here comes Mega Quaza. I mean, Tommy did find a DCE, but he got only ammo break for three, six, nine. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, we'll see a DC going to the active. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. I mean, this will take a... Okay, I mean, but Mega Mewtwo is going to knock it out regardless. Uh, it has enough for a Psychic Infinity. Uh, DC and Psychic Infinity for a, a billion damage. I think he already, he already had the knockout no matter what. So that was a very uneventful game. And we see at the bottom of Tommy's deck was a bunch of second wars and everything like that. So he... he Tommy was going to play a supporter card. It looked like forever. All right, but that, that's, un, that's not good. That's never what you want to see. I mean, both players just, you know, really did not get set up, which... Does happen sometimes in Pokemon, but this is best two out of three. Um, seven, 60 minutes, 
top cut. Um, so they got plenty of time for game two and game three if they do go that far. And um, I want to give a shout out to the Game Cave too. This is actually their camera and tripod right now that we are using that they allowed us to sh record games on. So fantastic people letting us record like that is great. Uh, big shout out to them. Their link to their Facebook page is down below. Make sure you check them out, guys, and show them love and support uh, like you do for me. That would be really cool. All right, but blood players are going to set up. Um, I mean, we just got to see, can Tommy have a better start? And it looks like he starts uh, Rayquaza, Jirachi, Skyla. So he has plenty of outs this turn. So it looks like he's not going to lose too quickly. So Rayquaza starting for Tommy. Okay. We see um, he's got a Skyla. We see an Ultra Ball in this card. The Skyla and the Jirachi, maybe? And I'm going to discard the... <laughs> he wants to get starts the other uh, Rayquaza in his hand. Okay. So going to Ultra Ball, discard those two, probably grabbing a Hoopa, going to use Scoundering, search for three new EX Pokemon, which we get like double Rayquaza and a Shaman, okay, so a Shaman, we'll see a Rayquaza, and another Rayquaza, which I do see in his Dax, oh, going to grab a Mega Rayquaza, okay, does he have a Spirit Link in hand, that'd be really nice, because I know he has a DC already, so he can like Link, DCE, Mega Rayquaza, Rayquaza, and Shaman for like a ton of new cards, so let's see, what does Tommy do here? Uh, see a Flowstone going out of Hoopa. I do not see a Lincoln Hand, so Rayquaza, DCE, uh, Jirachi, and Sheamus set up. Okay. Does he find a Link? I don't see one. I, once again, don't even see any support cards in his hand. So Puzzle Time, we're going to top three cards of his deck, and he is going to put a Sycamore on top of his deck. So he's good to go next turn, and we'll see a Mega Evolve onto Evan's turn. So Evan, let's see what he does here. He's going to put a Link on the bench. I think you put a DC on the, uh, so he's going to put a Psychic Energy active, okay. Hmm. Um, I think that's fine. You hit for 30, and the next turn you hit a, he's got a Mega Turbo in hand, so a Flow Zone to the active. And you'll see 30 damage, okay. Now, it looks like Evan's in a bad situation, but he does have a Sycamore plus a DC. He's just opting not to play it. So, DC, Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Can Tommy find a Skyfield and two more, no, yeah, two more Pokemon. So, Train your Smell. Look at the tough cards of his stack. Does he have an Ultra Ball? Does he find one? No, there's no Ultra Ball in there. Going to grab a Sycamore for next turn, okay? I mean, Evan, okay, so Evan's hand, he doesn't have a Sycamore, but he has a DC, Mega Mewtwo, and a Mega Turbo. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So he will be able to knock out this Mega, uh, this, this Rayquaza next turn, which is crazy. All right, so let's see. Well, that's if Tommy takes a knockout this turn. So we see the escape for Tommy, okay. All right, so, uh, I mean, escape rope could be really good right now if he can knock out the bench Mewtwo. Uh, we'll see a Sh Magirna coming down, okay. And we'll see an Emble Break for 150 damage. So escape rope. Going to send up the Hoopa Retreat, and we'll see an Emblem Break for 150 damage. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Oh, so what Evan could do this turn is put a Mega Mewtwo down, DCE, and he can actually take a knockout of this turn. So Trainer's Mill, look at the top cards of his deck, and it looks like he did not hit anything. But this will take a knockout if I, if I did the math correctly so 3 6 9 12 15 18 190 plus 30 is 220 which is enough for the knockout uh, so Evan will take a knockout go down to four price cards but he really doesn't have too much and he's might lose his mega mewtwo this turn so let's see hoopa come up on a tommy's turn can he find a mega quasi a spirit link dce and a mega turbo that's a lot to ask for but it is doable with his mega quasi deck so we see tommy Find an Ultra Ball. Here it is, a Skyfield in hand. So going to grab the Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is going to metal and a Sycamore to grab a Hoopa and or a Shaman. Uh, let's see what each one he goes for. Um, gonna wait a second, make sure he knows what everything is in, the, in there. He could grab a Dragonite, but Dragonite really not that useful right now. I think going for the Shaman play is a little bit better for sure. Um, so let's see, does he go for the Hoopa or I mean, does he go for the? Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for Shaman. I don't think you grab Dragonite right now. I think you definitely save it on for later. For sure. So Tommy's just looking to see what's all in there. Now remember, he's already played one Puzzle Time. And he's played two DCEs. Um, but he still can find, he still has a lot of options. Like three Puzzle Times, two DCEs. He does have a Skyfield in hand. I'm going to put a Metal Energy to Drachi. Uh, Skyfield, Seamus, setting up. Okay. 
does he find a link and a mega cause i do not see that in his hand i see a sycamore i think um but outside of that i don't see anything else so via seeker okay he could grab a skyla i think it is in his discard pile uh which will allow him to grab a well that's actually hex maniac that's not a sycamore so via seeker for let's see what he decides to get here or skyla okay so he's gonna skyla maybe um maybe grab a link so that way he can Mega Evolve this turn, but I don't think he has a supporter card in his hand, but at least Drachi can't really be knocked out this turn. He'll start us, discard the DC off the active, okay. Uh, so Mega Closet coming down, we'll see a, uh, maybe a Shaman set up for some more cards? Nope, going to treat and just start us, discard the DC, and on Ammon's turn, let's see, what does he find? Does he find a supporter card or anything? And there's a Trubbish putting that down. He's got a Mega Turbo. Okay, so now Evan's going to go off. Uh, he's got a Hoopa. He's going to use Scalinger Ring. He can't use the Mega Turbo as of right now because there's no Psychic Energy in his, in his discard pile. And just look through Tommy's discard pile, see what's all in there. But right now, that Jirachi cannot be touched. Uh, so we see a Lysander bringing up a Shaman. Okay. And we'll see a Scalinger Ring search for three new EX Pokemon. Now, this could grab a Mega Mewtwo, Mewtwo, and a Shaman. But nope, just going to grab a Shaman. I think you might grab Mewtwo here as well. Just try to thin your deck down as much as you can if you do have Mewtwo. Um, does he have another Mewtwo in the deck, though, is a question. And there is another Mewtwo coming down. Okay. And like I said, he could just Mega Evolve the Bench Mewtwo to end his turn. And that's what we see going to his hand is the Mega Mewtwo. He already has a Garbodor in his hand. So if he can find a Flowstone the next turn, uh, get a Garbodor out and play, that's really strong. So Mewtwo, Shaman, send up for three. So one, two, three. He finds a Via Secret Parallel City, some other stuff. I think what you do here is you just like, um, you Psychic Energy the Bench Mewtwo, and there we see a Parallel City, put a Tommy down to three, okay, and where does the Psychic Energy go to be active, and does he Mega Evolve to end his turn, I think you do, yeah, so Mega Evolve, on his Tommy's turn, he top decks a DCE, he has a Skyfield and a Dragonite, so he will be able to counter the Skyfield, uh, I mean not Skyfield, the Parallel City, so let's see Dragonite, use a pull up, search into Bagirna, a Rayquaza, and here, yeah, uh, here he has Shaman Hands, so that's fine. Okay, so let's see Rayquaza, Magirna, DC. I think you put the DC on the bench for Mega Rayquaza that's already down there, so that way you can attack this turn. It looks like he's going to opt not to do that, though. I think you definitely want to put that on the bench, Mega Rayquaza, and that we have maybe a potential to attack this turn. Because you put on the Rayquaza on the bench that doesn't have that's not Mega, you had to hit a bunch of stuff to actually attack this turn. So see has DC going to the active. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. Nope. DC goes to the bench Rayquaza. Uh, okay. And Shaman set up for five. So one, two, three, uh, four, five. Okay. Um, I mean, Tommy, I think he could have taken a knockout this turn. He does have puzzle time in his hand. And uh, a Via Seeker. So what he could have done was Via Seeker for Skyla, grabbing another puzzle out of his deck, using Mega Turbo plus a Switch, and taking a knockout this turn, knock out the Mega Mewtwo. All right, so we're gonna see Tommy actually not to do that. Okay, time to go through his discard pile, see what's all in there. Does he go for this Skyla double puzzle play? Uh, so is he a Via Seeker? Okay. Gonna grab a Skyla, all right, and gonna Skyla. Uh, grab. Let's see what he gets here. Does he grab a puzzle? And he is gonna grab a puzzle. All right, but I don't think he attacked with that Mega Quasar on the bench. Now, I mean, he put a DC onto it. He was pretty committed to it. Um, but I don't know what he. Okay, so what's he gonna get with this double puzzle? We know he has two in hand. Okay, maybe he'll surprise me and do something crazy. So double puzzle. Okay, let's see. Um. Yeah, what do you grab here? There's a Mega Quaza, maybe. Um, a Switch, okay. He's got a Hax Maniac DC and something else in hand. Well, let's see what Tommy does here. I don't know why he'd attach DC to the Mega Quaza and swing this turn. All right, so we see a Switch. And what is the other card going to be in a DC? Okay. Let's see what Tommy does here. He's going to. Let's see, Super Rod, show back to three combination of Pokemon Energies, back to his deck. So, Rayquaza, uh, Rayquaza, and a Shaman, okay. But, uh, I mean, Evan's going to take another knock out of this turn, going down to three prize cards. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, there's a switch into the Rayquaza, okay. We will see. Okay, let's see what he decides to do here. So, one, two, three, four, okay. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's eight put one on the bench. We see a spirit link going to the active. Does he find a mega plus? Nope. Just going to find burn for the knockout, which still is a great play going down to four price cards. But now you're in grave danger of being knocked out. This Mewtwo is going to come up. Does Evan find some mega turbos? Uh, let's see. So three, six, nine. Okay, so the Garboder coming down. We see a mega turbo to the active. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. If if Evan finds a uh, a DC, he can take a knockout. And uh, but Evan, I don't think he has a supporter card. He has a Lysander, which could Lysander up somebody and take a knockout like on Drachi or something if he wants to go that route. Uh, but I mean, on Tommy's side of the field, he really doesn't have anything either. He doesn't have a Skyfield. There's a Via Seeker, and let's see what he grabs here. Does he have a Sycamore? Nope. Gonna grab a Lysander. And let's see, he brings up maybe the Jirachi. Could take a knockout on that. Uh, just go down to three prize cards, but that doesn't really help you. You could bring up the Shaman, but then Tommy has a DC enhancing so and a Sky Return. I think your best option is actually just swing into this Mega Rayquaza um, in the Axe spot, or the one on the bench. One of those two for sure. So let's see, what does Evan decide to do here? Uh, what does he bring up? Does he knock out the Jirachi? We'll see if Lysander bring out the Shaman. I mean, Gerda, sorry, and we'll see a Psychic Penny for 3670, uh, minus 20, so 50. So, on to Tommy's turn, let's see what does he find. Um, Tommy still really can't attack this turn now. He's got some DCEs and Metal Energy. We we'll see Metal Energy going to the active spot. He does have a Hax Maniac. He can play that this turn, just in case Evan finds a Shaman. Uh, we see an end going to Tommy's hand, which is tempting, but Evan has zero cards in his hand. So, we see Evan draw a card. Okay. So, 3, 6, Nine minus twenty, so eighty. Okay. Still nine for knockout on a Tommy's turn. Finds a Mega Rayquaza. All right. So what he could do now is put down Mega Rayquaza, put an energy to it, and swing. But you're not taking a knockout here. This is DC a Shaman will see retreat and Sky turn for thirty. Promote the Hoopa. And on the Evans turn, does he hit a supporter card or not? And a Trubbish. So does he have a second discard pile? I don't think so. Um, so let's see, Evan could Psychic Infinity for 70, but then you leave your Mewtwo to maybe be a knockdown. Uh, nope, you're gonna do 70, okay. Oh no, hold on. Oh, he's, he's Cyburn, okay, or Cywave, whatever it's called. Uh, for 3, 6, times 2 is 120. Tommy does find a Skyfield. He has a DC in hand, but does he play this in? If he plays this in, oh, uh, he has a Shaman hand, so he's 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 18, uh, Tommy will take a knockout this turn, so a Metal Energy going down, Spirit Link on the Regerda, uh, Shaman set up for 2, so 1 and 2, we'll see in, uh, Rayquaza coming down, and that will be a knockout, I think he had a knockout beforehand anyway, uh, so we'll see a treat into the Mega Rayquaza, and we'll see an Ember Break for the knockout, going down to 2 prize cards, and what can Evan find here, I mean, he hasn't really done anything, uh, do you just promote the Mewtwo and just hope you hit something? Do you promote Garbodor and maybe pr prolong the game? We'll see Garbodor come up and what does Evan find? He finds a Mega Mewtwo and just go to Mega Evolve on a Tommy's turn. Does Tommy have a Lysander? There's a Via Seeker in hand. Does he have a Lysander? And he does not actually, okay? So Tommy cannot win not this turn. Um... He could put a DC Mega Turbo, and that will basically give him the game. Not 100% away. Um, Evan still can find a way to win the game. Uh, make a comeback. He can Parallel City. He can put Tommy down to three. Uh, Tommy has already used Dragonite. There's a Shaman going to his hand. He is going to sit up trying to find the Lysander to bring up a Shaman or anybody on his bench to win the game. And let's see what Tommy does here. We'll see a Shaman setting up for three. And let's see, does he hit the Lysander or not? Three new cards going to his hand. And there's the last card. And he does find a Lysander to bring up whoever he wants to. And break for the knockout on Evan. Uh, he wasn't going to find anything anyway. So both players, you know, game number one, Tommy didn't find any supporter cards. Game number two, Evan didn't find any supporter cards. And on the game number three, Let's see what is going to happen, guys. Do you want Mega Rayquaza or do you want Mega Mewtwo to win? Uh, it is the Battle of the Megas, and I'm excited to see who is going to take this home and uh, advance to top four. Uh, remember, it is top eight right now. They got two They got two more rounds to face and to see if they become the champion or not. So uh, both players are going to shuffle up right now. 
and uh, let's see what is going to happen. Um, I mean, does <laughs> hopefully both players find supporter cards and we actually see a good gain number three. I mean, Evan, he took some knockouts, and that was without even playing a supporter card, which is like pretty crazy, but. All right, so here we go. Both players are going to get deck cut, and let's see what both players find. Going to get seven new cards. Tommy finds a Rayquaza. It was his seventh Pokemon, and uh, Evan does find a Mewtwo and something else coming down as well. All right, so both players are going to get six surprise cards. Here's game number three, guys. You see a Rayquaza and two Mewtwo's coming down for Evan. So Evan has a Parallel City, uh, Psychic Energy, and an o and a N, putting both players down to six new cards. And with that Parallel City, he could put Tommy in a bad situation. But if, if I'm Evan, I might have held on to that Parallel City because if Tommy finds a Skyfield, he bumps your Parallel City. And that's what you really need against this Mega Quasi deck is those Parallel Cities. All right, so both players are against six new cards. Uh, does Evan find a Trubbish? We see a Trainer's Mail. Look at top cards of his deck. Does he find an Ult Ball? Um, I do not see one, so he will not be able to get a Trubbish down this turn. And can Tommy take a knock out of this turn? I see a DC. I saw a Lincoln hand. Does he have a Hoopa? You scoundering and just blow up this Mewtwo or not? All right, so Evan's going to get a good shuffle there. Like I said, I don't see an Ult Ball in hand, so he's not threatening a turn two Garboder, which is what he really needs to do. And let's see, pass on to Tommy's turn. So Tommy finds a Magirna. He's got a Link, got a DCE. And he doesn't have anything else, so Lysander brings the Mewtwo, DCE, and we'll see a Tentify and Burn for 100 damage. Oh, or 60, sorry. Um, I don't know why I thought 100. The other attack is 100. Alright, so on Evan's turn, uh, he's got a DCE to the bench. Mewtwo, or active. Mewtwo, I don't know which one he's trying to... Okay, to the bench. Active, okay. Sycamore, discard his hand, draw 70 cards. Discard the Mega Mewtwo, which is very surprising. He could have just Mega Ball to end his turn. Oh, we see a Trubbish coming down. We see a Ultra Ball discarding one and two, which can grab a Hoopa. Okay. Because um, Hoopa can Scoundrel search for three new EX Pokemon just to thin your deck out just a little bit more. And then use Trainer's Mill. Hope to hit a Link, but nope. Gonna grab a Shaman instead. Uh, maybe a Hoopa is prized. Maybe he's just opting not to grab it. I'm not 100% sure. I can't see all of his deck. And we'll see a Trainer's Mill. Look at the top cards of his deck. Does he find a Spear Link? And he does find one. Gonna put on the active Mewtwo. And can Evan find a Mega Mewtwo? If he does, he has a Mega Turbo in hand, which will allow him to take a knockout. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Actually, no, that's not a knockout. All right. So, <laughs> so we'll see Spear Link going to the bench, actually. Okay. Uh, Shaman coming out for 4. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, no Mega Mewtwo. And I think we'll see a Photon Wave for 30. And Evan, uh, Tommy does find a Skyfield. Okay, going to put that down. Uh, DC and Magirna, Hacks Maniac, and man, it's just just a battle of draw passing. So that Mewtwo will take 60 more damage, but Photon Wave is in play, so it does 30 less, and it'll take only 30 damage. So Evan will find a Flowstone, will find a Garboder, shutting down Tommy's chances of using Shaman, Dragonites, anything good like that. Parallel City, Discard, and Skyfield. We'll see a DC being attached to that bench. Mewtwo. And we'll see a VS Sigma for Sycamore. Or no, just Sycamore General. Just discarding two Mega Turbos. Wow. All right. And let's see. Does Evan find it? Okay. That's a lot of Psychic Energies. And there's a Mega Mewtwo as his last card. So let's see retreat into the Mewtwo. Mega Evolve. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 160 plus 30 is 180. And Tommy will lose his game. Oh, no. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 190. I think that's a knockout no matter, okay, yeah, I think it's a knockout no matter what, and here we go, man, what is happening, alright, so Evan takes this game, and game number one, Tommy didn't play his portal card, game number two, Evan didn't play his portal cards, and game number three, Tommy didn't play his portal cards, so it's a battle of draw pass, and uh, Evan does come out victorious, moving on to top four, and guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, I think Evan um, no, no, Evan's not playing the table side of their different two different brackets, so we'll see what Evan's partner is here in a little while. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Next up will be top four, the first round, and then we'll have another top four round, and then the finals. So much Pokemon content coming out, and guys, we'll see what happens in the next game. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.